the technology disruption of digitalization is forever changing the way we make things. And as a consequence, the other big thought, when we make things, we tend to have the capability to innovate things. In other words, if I coexist between what I make when what I research, I will come up with the next best idea. And actually companies like Dow and every company that's you know our age is only here today because of that. That we've figured out how to prototype the next thing based on the current thing. And in fact, if I don't innovate faster, then I will be commoditized and be put out of business because the life cycle of businesses has condensed. It used to be that people like us in the chemical industry would think of, I build a plant, I build a factory, it's got a 20, 30 year uh, life cycle, 15 year payback. Forget it. Cannibalization of yourself through innovation, through fast cycle innovation has arrived. And with modern digital technology, I can do that faster and surer than ever before. Just using robotics and high throughput experimentation, I've gone from 25,000 experiments a year to 2 million experiments a year. I can shorten the cycle when I deal with a customer on what new footwear design they need for their materi materials and footwear to give them what they want in terms of attribute. I can do that from first conversation to launch in less than a year, whereas that would normally take three to five years. That short cycle innovation is what advanced manufacturing is. It's really actually kind of what Silicon Valley and the whole IT industry learnt and what all the chip makers have figured out. You know, I have the chip, I have it for now, I spend $3 billion making it, and you know what? In two years or three years, I gotta go build the next one. And what we've gotta do is go to high value technology oriented goods, not just high volume. I think the Chinas have sol are solving for that. Everyone understands that it's the share of market in today's world is share of knowledge. It's not share of quantity goods. That's advanced manufacturing. And I think we in the US, I think, are probably most well equipped to do that. But also the other Western democracies, the UK, Australia, Japan, all those are adopting those sorts of technology drivers to modernize their economies and actually, frankly, be competitive in the rest of the world.